When you kill Ryoji, you surrender your will to fight. You don't fight Nyx, you don't try to stop the fall, you just accept it. By doing this, you leave Aegis alone to rot while the world literally ends. Also, you forget all your memories that you made the past year and you fuck over a whole lot of people close to you. It's, it's kinda shit, you know? Nyx comes, crashes the moon into Earth and turns everyone into the Fallen. Or, or kills them. Or it doesn't even really matter because, you know, the Earth's gonna look like the Earth from Black Ops 2 Zombies. This is the only ending where the world is confirmed to be destroyed. In the others, the world either isn't really affected at large or it still exists, somewhat. But not with Nyx, she's the god of death and wipes everything out. Like, like the song, you know? You get it? Adachi. Adachi. So siding with Adachi betrays everything the game stood for. Not only do you run away from the truth, but you also stab the people you've worked with all this time in, in the back. Like, like the guy from the one game, you know? Now in this ending, the world isn't destroyed per se, well it might be, we don't quite know. Inaba will be covered in fog, shadows will start appearing and then kill everyone. So after Protag leaves for some town, first he's gonna notice that his friends stop calling him. And then after some time he might awaken to see his home city enveloped in the very same fog that Inaba once had. So the world will be covered in fog and everyone probably dies or maybe there's a few survivors fighting off the shadows, who knows. But the world isn't literally destroyed, so, you know, it's something. But we also got how the protagonist absolutely steps the investigation team in the bag, quite literally leaving them to die without ever finding the truth. And for number 2, I picked the vanilla Persona 5 bad ending. In it, after facing fake Igor and stealing his nose, he reveals himself to actually be the god of control Yaldabaoth. Piss boy Yaldabaoth reveals he's actually been tricking Joker the entire game and tells him he led mankind to ruin cause he couldn't change the hearts of the ignorant masses. Like in Persona 3, he actually gives him a choice. Instead of fighting him, he could just take his deal. The deal meaning Joker getting his ideal world, where the world is corrupt and the Phantom Thieves are the shining beacon of light. Well, the one Phantom Thief. Since it's implied the others are rotting in a prison cell. Well, let's let's get the checklist out. The world isn't destroyed. The main character is alive. Seems about right. The world is enslaved and you kind of are too. Doomed to do the whole Phantom Thief shtick forever. But hey, at least everything still exists. And for our number one... Alright Cheeple, time to go back to sleep. Now let's be real here. The only reason I'm putting Maruki's bad end as number one is the fact that the cat she is alive in this one. Of course, on a Maruki, everyone gets to live their best life. Fudaba's mom isn't dead, Haru's dad isn't dead, and the goat is still here. In this reality, the world is neither destroyed nor enslaved, but instead under the control of Maruki. But it's still a very bad ending, seeing as, well, have you ever played We Happy Few? This is basically that, but with less. Papier mache! The world is under the control of a single man and there are no emotions other than pure happiness. And for some this may be an escapist dream and for others it might be the worst nightmare. But hey, the world isn't destroyed and everyone is alive. More or less. And, and that's it. The video's quite short, yeah, but I've been, I've been kinda missing for the past 3 months. And if I don't hand anything in soon, YouTube will think I'm dead and turn my channel into a Facebook memorial page.